The aroma is good. Legs is good. Bouquet is really earthy. I smell leather. And this is my wine for tonight. It's the nectar that does not, it's actually incapable of lying. I heard this phrase in a film and I love it. Hello everyone. <clears throat> this is Valentina Cirasola. And you're watching Valentina Design Universe. This is really good. I won't tell you what it is because I'm not getting paid to say what it is. Tonight's show, it's about exciting colors in 2019. Mm. We are going to see some really intriguing colors and really intriguing combinations. Some people always ask me, what are the trends for the next year? Well, trend is a word that I don't really like because it makes me feel like someone is pulling me by the nose and wants me and wants me to do what they want me to do. But um, hello, Sicily. <clears throat> but some we know sometimes we do need some guidelines. That's the way I take trends as guidelines for something that might be good for us to do. So the colors will be very warm and very uh, rich, very deep. And guess where they come from? Food. They come from food. This year, the next year, colors. Uh, are taking the inspiration from food. So we have all the berries and all the rust of the earth and we have the browns and and a lot of it it's a lot of combination between fruit, food and earth. And it's also because we know there is a lot of talk about organic food, slow, slow food movement, and eating well, eating good, all of that, it comes to play in fashion or interiors. And that's where the inspiration comes. Every year there is a different thing that inspires the people that uh, come up with certain colors. I guess this year they've been inspired by food and I love it because that's really a um, a subject that is very dear to me, you know. I'm a designer who cooks and likes to eat. So let's see. So we have these exciting colors this year. Let's see what they would be. Okay, so... This is, um, hold on, let me find the picture, okay? So here we have the um, burgundy with a soft blush, chocolate, burgundy chocolate with a touch of green, and gold. There is always gold next year. There is gold. Um, so there is a touch of green with this burgundy, a touch of cream, and blush. You know, blush is that kind of really non defined colors. It could be mauve, it could be antique, uh, pink, but however you like to define, it's really a very nice color. And green and burgundy and chocolate, chocolate with burgundy. I mean, just imagine the uh, wine paired with chocolate. Oh, it's just so great. It just You have to have the right chocolate, though. Not all the chocolates are good with wine, okay? 
So let's go to the next slide and see if I can find it right. Okay, here it is. It's dark blue with orange. Uh, the picture is small, but it's kind of difficult to see it. Orange and gold and brown, brown and blue. This is dark blue. It's not navy. It's almost black, blue, black, but it's blue. And the touch of, with the brown and the orange, there will be a touch of green. But look what's underneath. It's ultraviolet, the same color that was uh, uh, in fashion this year. So it's blue and ultraviolet, a little bit of green and turquoise and orange, brown, and the gold again, okay? And the gold again. So now let's go to, let's see if I have another slide. Let's see what else I have here. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have the other slides, I thought I did. Just one second. Here it is. Yes. Okay. So now look at this. This is dark blue again and brown and walnut color, pumpkin and camel color. Oh, this is just delight. Delightful. It's really, really nice. Um, my pleasure, Cicely. It's um, colors are my things. Um, so here we go. See the pumpkin, the pumpkin with the camel color uh, purse and the dark blue with gold and brown and walnut colors. So these are very exciting to me because not only you can wear these colors, but you can also uh, decorate your home with these with these very nice colors. Just think about brown, camel, blue, gold. It's just a fabulous combination, even if you decorate your home with those colors. It's very warm, very rich, and you feel, you feel like a, a morsel of food. I know it's my analogy to food, but that's where the colors come from this year. They come from food. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And so let's look at them again. Okay, so this is the burgundy with blush and chocolate and a little bit of green with gold. Then we have the blue, the dark blue with orange and brown and gold again over ultraviolet. So you can wear these things, these colors, or you can decorate either way. Either way, it's, um, it's a good color, a good combinations. Now, of course, these kind of, these are called, these colors are so rich, they go to with anybody's skins. Okay, so don't worry about what your skin is all about. This one is the one I like the most. It's pumpkin and um, and uh, camel color and blue, dark blue with gold and walnut color. So these are the ones that I love the best. Yes, uh, grapes, yes. <laughs> so, um, I like to know what you are watching and um, if you will be watching the replay later, just say replay and what you like about these colors. And if you're watching now, do you think of these colors? Have you thought of these colors that they're going to be good for you? Have you ever thought that these um, would be combination. I mean, it's uh, not that easy to think of burgundy with green. You know, the distance, one is warm, one is uh, uh, cold, it's kind of um, distant from each other, but they look good together, you know. And the unification of these colors, 
whether they are cold and warm together is the gold. That's the, the colors that is unifying these colors. So let me know what you like about colors, these colors, if you do and if you don't. It's good too. It's, it's good not. If you don't like something, just let me know. And let me know if there is something that you would like to learn from me. Let me know if there is a suggestion that you want me to bring along. But anyway, I am in tune with what I'm saying because I preach. And I do what I preach. Okay, so this is the wine. Wine is food to me. And... I'm wearing rust, and I'm wearing gold, and I'm wearing a touch of green, okay? So I'm in tune with these colors, and it didn't have to be 2019. I just do what I feel is good for me. So this is my encouragement. Do what you feel is good for you. Trends are fine. If you want to follow them to the letters, please do so. But you have to do what's good for you. So if one color is not in fashion, who cares? As long as it looks good on you, wear it or use it in your environment, in your spaces, in your office, in your home, whatever, whatever and wherever. Okay, so... It just happens that these are the colors I would wear, and I do have them. So I didn't have to wait until 2019 to be in tune with what I'm saying. And so over my rust now, I have a shawl. In the dark of the night of the evening, it looks uh, black, but it isn't. It's, um, it's very dark purple. It doesn't look so purple, but it is. It's very dark. And it has all these handmade flowers at the bottom. So this shawl is very nice because it's not imposing. I can have it one over the shoulder when it's really, really cold. Or I can have them hanging. For right now, there is just acting like um, a shawl, like a capelet. But it's very nice because the evening now is getting chill just a little bit. I mean, this is here never gets cold anyway. <clears throat> but I will be going to enjoy my wine and the rest of my evening with a very nice book. So I wish you would do the same. Wine is a good thing for you, especially at the end of the day. Calm us down and somehow just fits in the night and let the magic begin. So, to you, to your health, mm. so good. To your health, to your happiness, I will be saying goodbye until next time. Please do watch uh, Valentina Design Universe. And um, I should, shall be here again, maybe in a couple of days. Actually, I do know in a couple of days I will have a good guest. And uh, we will have another show. So thank you for watching. Thank you for those who were live. And I'll see you later. Bye.